Welcome, everyone, to the Coaching to Flourish podcast. I am your host, John Andrew Williams. Raj is again out today, uh, but hopefully we'll be back uh, in the next week or two. I am here with Antoine Davis. Uh, Antoine is a CTEDU grad, a executive coach, and um, a model. Right, uh, uh, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to jump into this one. So welcome to the podcast, Antoine, and uh, we'll see what we can do the next yeah. half hour. Uh, dissect this coaching session, and this is the first one that uh, we've done on coaching to flourish, where we have the actual client all of the session here live with me while we review the session. So I'm feeling pretty I'm feeling pretty good about this one. I had a chance to review it, uh, Antoine. Any initial thoughts, comments, questions? The ideas as we get launched uh, into this space. No, I'm just uh, pretty curious about, um, you know, what we reveal through reviewing it. And um, uh, it was a pleasure doing it, the uh, initial demonstration. So excited to see what we could pull out as well. And as we, before we jump into this, I'm just really curious, just for myself and also just to get it there. What was what was the effect of the after of the session? Like what like I can sharpen the question. Like what did you what action step or what did you find was different after the session happened? Um that's a good question. Um I really started going for like corporate contracts. I like started um uh, talking to my friends who um uh, are in the tech tech world and seeing if their companies would be interested in lo and behold, they were. So, um, I already had several leads and, um, just still compute still coming up with the plan with around that. But, um, so I got the ball rolling. It's got the ball rolling. Good. Let's do it. Let me get, uh, the transcript also queued up. I have this ready to go. Here we go. I'm just going to jump in from the beginning get to the time model right away and then see there are a couple of spots I really want to touch base on. Uh, and I'm so uh, thankful that you're here and uh, doing this. Um, let's jump in. So just really quick, where are you in the world? What fo uh, like what focus, like where are you at in the training and then what's your focus and let's dive into a real set. All right. I'm going to jump into, uh, we jump in really quickly um, here. Let's just jump in like, just a minute ahead. I'm gonna try to get through the whole thing in one sitting here. So successful. What would be the measurable outcome that you'd get from it? Um, I, I really want to say my rate is 250, 300. Um, and I want to say that with, I like half believe it right now. I want to say that with full beliefs. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, what, why is this important? Um, just because, um, yeah, I just had a lot of things on my plates, um, uh, lately that require money. And, um, I believe I've grown a lot since I said my original rate and I've never changed it. Um, and I don't know how to like i've looked at other coaches and see the other races i was like i think i'm around this ballpark so um from what i saw no yeah. so what's stopping you from any initial thoughts antoine looking at um it's so funny how much i move <laughs> you can see like the discomfort in my body when i We'll say that I okay. want uh, There's a tentativeness there too. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's also a somewhat like it's a, it's odd because the words I feel like are confident. Like I want to be able to charge 300, 250, 300 to session, but the body language doesn't match. Uh, but yet I also think it doesn't not, not match totally either. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I like this next question I go with. I'm curious the impact of it. I'm just doing it now. Just saying 
I charge two. Let me go. To that. Let me go back ten seconds. Here we yeah, go. I've looked at other coaches and see the other races. I was like, I think I'm going around this ballpark. So, um, <laughs> from what I saw, yeah. So, what's stopping you from just doing it now? Just saying, I charge two fifty. Mm. I think it's. Maybe fear of rejection, maybe fear of am I actually worth that? Or like am I giving enough value to send that? Yeah. Okay. What's the when you sit with this question, right, and just sit with it and not not move it around, what do you notice, like, physically? Wow. That takes so long. Are you kidding me? That's like a 30-second question. <laughs> <laughs> What's that here? I'll get it for a little bit. What's that like as a client? I definitely noticed that. Um, I was like, wow, he puts a lot of space around this. Um, it's a, uh, it definitely, it has me, gives me room to spin a bit. Uh, not spin in a bad way, like spin my wheels to further my thinking or deepen my thinking. Yeah, I realized I do this on purpose, not completely on purpose. But I'm not not doing it in the sense of I'm not really sure where to go with this mm-hmm. uh, I, right now as a coach. I, you know, there's uh, a couple of different spots. I'm thinking, okay, so and I'm really it's like a it's like a, a water with like a bowl of water with sand in it, and it feels like it's all swirly. And I'm just waiting for the sand to to settle mm-hmm. and trying to figure out where is this at. Like, how much do I believe? you as a client like this is something that you're really wrestling with or is there something underneath it that i feel like mm. so i'm i'm aligning with you i'm feeling your energy and feeling what's interesting is it congruent not congruent so far it feels pretty congruent still to me um, but that's also the question of what's stopping you right now from just saying it i'm sort of doing a congruence test one and two i'm slowing this way down on purpose because I want, I'm giving you space to exactly do what you're doing. But sometimes I wonder, is it too much? I think it's good for me because I'm, I've been practicing slowing down. I just like, I'm the type of the film I've played, then get a second play. And, um, so <laughs> I think it's, uh, especially specifically for me, it's like, I want to like run to do the next thing, but this, it's like, no, we're going to sit with this and think about it. Yeah, I felt that too. Felt that too. All right, let's see how that lands. Let's see how that lands. Um, I kind of feel I I feel I feel like it's I feel nervous. I feel. Something in my stomach. That's what I'm trying to feel right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it really is. It's maybe almost like the slightest feeling of I have a fear of heights. And and like Yeah. If the edge is like just 10 feet away for me like i know the the height the fall is right there but i'm like comfortable right there but i can still i feel near it okay yeah. okay what happens if you take one step towards it increase the uncomfort just a little bit I can't help myself you know i cannot help it it's like all right you gave a metaphor you gave space you gave all the things you know, it's like as a coach, you get, it's it's brilliant. You're like as a client, this is very generous clienting right now. Mm-hmm. You know, did you when I when you were saying this out loud? Did you know that I was going to say, okay, like let's go, like let's let's take a step towards it. 
to increase I mean, it or probably or, yeah just like you know the inevitable coaching yourself as a coach um uh, um i felt that question coming yeah yeah i mean and also we have to understand like the the setup for this is somewhat you know it's it's known like you know you were rec we're recording this we know we're going to be doing this afterwards mm -hmm. uh, and at the same time i'm trying to hit different uh exercises that we do in the training that need coaching demos so there's a lot of stuff like percolating through uh, a metaphor like this i mean as a coach it's almost like yeah just go with that metaphor um we could have gone through this the whole session but i think we let it go after pretty pretty quickly after this but let's see what happens and like the tingles start to happen um like the fear of falling off really starts to grow um yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's go for it let's uh so we get clarity around your perspective your comfort level with your price and the value you're putting on your time is that good is that the focus for today yeah sounds perfect let's do it let's do it okay uh let's let's go first into uh let's do an assumption chart so that finishes the echo there, you know, like the, the time model, uh, you know, the topic, the importance, the measurement, and then the echo. How long was that? Four and a half minutes. It's pretty good. It's about right for a 30 minute session. Um, yeah. Is that, does that get there? Yeah. Is, that, is that enough? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, curious to me to like how much honestly i put like maybe a minute or two even in my hour-long sessions i'm like let's get it let's get this and go with it but it's mm -hmm. you put a lot of space uh, and attention around but for sure are we killing like maybe my maybe my time model is like very general, like in the neighborhood, but you get the exact location. It feels like. Yeah. And I think it's okay too. You know what I mean? Like we do time models and you're trying to figure out, okay, like I think we're close. I think it's enough to get to a, how do I say it? It's enough to get close because even here, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sure this is the topic. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like we just got one, you got feels, you got a metaphor going. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, oh yeah. Like, <laughs> like it's good, you know. Um, I just did a demo last week, which we'll look at, where I think I waited like twenty minutes in a forty-minute session to get the time model. Like it just was a slow. It was a slow step, mm -hmm. uh, and by time is like yeah, topic, importance, measurement, and echo. Um, but I, I think there's also benefit too to going through it rather quickly. A lot of a lot of it depends on your clients too. Like if you if you've trained your clients to go through it quickly, that they know it's coming, they know what to expect, they jump in right away. It's all good. All right, let's keep it going. It's amazing how much you can break down a four minutes, four and a half minutes video. Right to the negative, uh, all the negative assumptions first, and we'll switch switch over to the positive. Uh, what are the what are the things? Uh, let's see, your inner critic or some of the most heavy things that you're saying to yourself and we go right to uh, some of the assumptions you're making yeah um so I, the assumptions i'm making yeah like i feel like i have to go to the corporate world to mm. ask for this kind of money um i feel like in order to get there i have to ask my friends and i have a fear of like looking weak in front of them asking for help um in this way mm. um i have a fear or assuming people will say no um yeah i think that's it what perspective do those assumptions naturally want to lead to 
I'm not sure how much I, as a coach, I'm like, I mean, I, I believe where you're, where you're going from it, but I'm not sure how, I feel like there's something else here. If I'm mm-hmm. put, if I'm uh, listening to yourself, what, what are your thoughts in the session? Mm, I believe though, I mean, that's definitely true about like, fear of looking weak in front of friends. Um, but like what I did to, like, I, I did ask my friends and they did, they didn't say no. I'm a, um, they, they said, yes. Um, I just attacked a fear. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna take a swing at it and see what happens. Um, so I, I, and as I was saying this, I don't think I'm quite sure why it's, I'm so resistant as well. Um, I I knew like that is part of the resistance, but not the whole picture. Yeah, I felt that too. I felt like this means it's interesting to feel like, okay, it's enough for us to keep going with the session. Like, okay, this is, this is useful. And I, I felt like I was waiting for another topic to drop. Mm-hmm. You know, where it's like, oh, like I do this in this other area of my life, or you know, this comes up here and there. Um, yeah, I was really curious about it, and uh, I know we're using the assumption chart, which I think fits. I mean, this one works well enough, and so I don't. I'm trusting the process at this point that if there is a deeper agenda that wants to come out, it will. Mm-hmm. Not going to. I'm not going to try to poke too hard yet. Mm-hmm. Um, this is where I'm at with that. Yeah, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I love this pause, by the way. What? Me too. And people are going to say no. You know, people say no. How does that evidence feed back into the assumptions and the fear? Um, how's that feedback into it? Um, like they were right, or like you know you're dreaming too big, or I'm like, what makes you think you're worth that? I don't know. No. I often feel like here it is. I am doing. I do. I, I definitely would say my past is ambitious, and a lot of my decisions have been ambitious, and um, but I've made them work. But I'm always faced with like, are you sure you're going to do this? Yeah. Um, yeah. What have you learned about yourself within that process? I'm like always kind of most of the time come up on top. Like I've actually now that I think of it, a lot of this those feelings where I'm like taking a big bite of out of life. I felt like this, like, am I really sure I should be doing this? Or, um, but kind of just, you know, jumping anyway, like jumping off the cliff anyway. And then they've worked out. Yeah. Yeah, this negative assumption. Let me dig in, Antoine. I mean, I mean, that, that feeling still remains true, but now it's, I'm like, I, I've jumped now. So, so, and, um, and I'm still wondering about the parachute because it's, you know, a lot of still in flux, but I'm proud that I've jumped and it seems, at least I have the cord in hand, <laughs> like there, there are fruits budding, 
but it, uh, until I feel like until I get the contract or I get uh, a firm yes from somebody, um, or maybe honestly enough knows um, that I'm like, oh, this is still like I'm I'm fine. I'm still here doing the same thing, but I've, at least I've adventured. Right. Yeah, I feel like we've hit like at this point here for me as a coach, it clicked mm. where it felt to me like feeling into this where I thought, wow, this is instead of instead of being something that we need to actively push away from, this is part of your creative process and it mm. works for you. Right, right. So it's almost like this. It's like a perceived problem, but is actually, yeah, I mean, I speak to it in the session. Mm -hmm. uh, but for me at this point, this is when it clicked. And I realized, wait a second. In my mind, the deeper agenda here isn't, okay, getting 250, 300 a client, sure, that's fine. But the, the bigger thing for me is you have so much talent. You have so much confidence in your ability to make some hard things happen. I get the fear of being so big. What's really holding you back from being big? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Are you answering that now? I mean, that's kind of, I mean, yes, why not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, I've been told many of times that like who like basically like who do you think you are and it's like no, i believe i can do this thing and you're like and my peers in in past have said like you're not that guy you're like you're not you're not great at frisbee you can't do your own business like no one no one has done that um like to travel the world based on your services. No, no one has done that, done that, but I like just had a deeper feeling of like, I think I can do it though. <laughs> like if it, I might be the first one to do it, but I still think I can do it. Um, but then when I like look out into the world, like, oh, several, if not more people have done this. Um, Yeah, I mean, I, there's there's some something I read. I forget where it was. It was uh, your dream, like living your dream, will never be as good as you believe it will be, mm. nor living your fear will never be as bad as you think it will be. Mm. And I don't know how much I believe that or not, but it's just an interesting thing to play with. You know, this mm. idea of, I mean, sometimes I think our dreams, living dreams, uh, surprise us. Like they're way better than we ever thought it could be. And other times I get it. It's like, oh, I thought this one business thing was going to work out. It's okay. You know, it's like, uh, you know, meh. Mm -hmm. That positive. I still am glad it, ha it happened, but I'm not like over the moon. Like, oh my goodness, it was the thing that's going to save the you know, next three decades. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of that here, but I mean, my overwhelming feeling at this point is, as a coach is this is a useful process. I don't want to destroy it. It's almost like, how can we build this into your, like, how can we codify it and in, in, into like make it canon for you? Like, this is just a spot, like a milestone mm -hmm. in this space, not necessarily even a, a spot to even be avoided. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So what are we in? We're uh, minute mark eight and a, eight fifteen, and yeah. I feel like it clicked for me. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Let me see, see how I use that insight. Uh, this question. It feels like part of a larger process sure. that works for you. Mm. Right, hey, look at your face it's, it feels like how is this one step along a, you know <laughs> like, like you know what i mean like, oh we're at this train stop and now the next stop is what you know yeah um what is the next stop um i never thought of it that way um not really like testing the waters like you know you don't have to jump you can like throw a rock and you know, the talk <laughs> <songs. Yeah. laughs> 
So what happens when you throw a rock here? Uh, I could like just ask a friend that I know what's it that has been helping me wants to help me and I could just ask to like get the ball rolling kind of shake off the fear a bit yeah mm-hmm mm-hmm Let's shift to the positive one, positive assumption cycle on this. Let's say we're to flip almost those negative assumptions almost completely on its head where this is like a strategic advantage. Mm-hmm. What would those assumptions be? Yeah, I really like this question. Curious as a client, I know that transition was abrupt. I'm also trying to work in a an exercise, you know, the negative assumption chart and the positive assumption chart and work them in pretty quick because I know we have short time, even in this session. What was that transition like as a client? Um I didn't feel that abrupt to me. I feel like in general, when I get coached, I- I feel like I come to conclusions pretty quickly, maybe too quickly, but um, or I feel like I satisfied, like, yes, I'm, these assumptions are producing like these actions and it's like breezy me. I'm thinking it's a problem, but maybe I'm, I'm, I'm just assuming it's a problem. Um, so I, at least from what I remember, I don't think it was abrupt. That's cool. I didn't feel like, I mean, it, I know that as a coach, I'm, I feel like I'm super connected. Like you're, you know, you're being a really generous client. You're in the space. The metaphor of jumping has come up maybe five or six times at this mm-hmm. point. Uh, we have a lot of tangibility to the ideas and they keep me throwing a rock, taking a step closer. Uh, I mean, I feel like we're we're definitely in this space. Um, this to me feels like, yeah, I'm making a transition going to it. Uh, let's just get a little bit more. And then I think that's our time. I'm, we might have to shift these coaching and flourish to be an hour to get through a 30 minute session, or we might just do part two next week and just rinse and repeat. Um, let's uh, Let's get just a little bit more and then we'll pause it and we'll have to put a pin on it and then um, yeah, let's maybe look at next week. Maybe I don't know. Let's see where we're at. Sounds good. This is an advantage to have this fear. Mm, maybe, or like, let's even shift the fear. Let's shift mm. that. Let's shift the fear to excitement. What happens? Oh man, I'm really pushing for positive on this. Like I'm pushing you. I mean, I meant, yeah, the fear is a is a, a spot on this, but I want to push the fear even to excitement to see how far I can push it as a coach mm-hmm. at this point. Uh, let's see how you take it. Nah. There you go. Yeah. That's uh I wanna say dangerous. I, yeah, yeah. I did a um I feel like I'm impulsive sometimes. And I like just jump without looking and um, maybe get to some trouble because I jump without looking. Uh, but we are talking about the positive. Uh, oh, we got to stop here. Oh, it's it so good. <laughs> oh, there's so much to unpack in that. Uh, isn't that amazing? As a coach, I, I went, so I found the boundary. Mm-hmm. I found I found the boundary line. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a client. What are your thoughts? Um, I mean, yeah, it, it was. I think this moment was like, um, at least for me, it was doing my process as a tool and not like a detriment that I've like often found myself like the hole I always fall into. I was like, oh no, it's 
this this gulping feel when you see the clay. But now I'm more viewing it as like, oh, this is what the next level is. Um, like this is, you know, you view it as like, maybe from the other way, like viewing the cliff as the wall and this is to get there, yeah. you have to start climbing. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. At this point, I felt like I found, I felt like I entered into you, into your mindset of, okay, yeah, it really is fear, but that fear is useful. Mm -hmm. And it's not like you want to just dismiss the fear because then it becomes like, like a kid who just jumps on a bike, you're like, Wee! you know, and then there can be some real consequences. Mm -hmm. Even then I still wanted to push it and say, are you sure there's real consequences? I'm sure there are, but you're still here. You're still standing. You're still doing amazing things. Like, right. um, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. You know, you're, you're our biggest critic, but um I think I'm also on this like I'm I'm trying to unlearn like I think the beginning beginning of like my self development journey after college or like really pursuing it I got into a trap of like there's something wrong with me let me just try to fix it and I think that is coming up in here like there's something wrong with me um I don't know if I can do this because like I have to find the answer or something. All right. All right. I think it's to some degree, we're all conditioned that way with grades. Mm. You have grades that deliver judgment that you can't change without, I mean, it's not like you take a test and you can redo the test and get a different grade and like move on. Um, business is like that to some degree, but I find that business requires a completely different mindset because you can redo. Uh, it takes time, energy, sure, but so does redo redoing anything. But it's not like you're graded, and then you can never like remake that money. You know what I mean? Or remake the whatever deal you have to whatever deal was lost. Um, it's amazing to feel you wrestling with that necessary shift in this space. Uh, and also to honor the pit stop of, yeah, let's check in with the fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that really resonates with me. I think like, I think, especially this week, I was like, there's several clients I, I offered um, a package and they said no. And uh, I've been thinking of those as like, I think I have the, in the past of like, this is the only time I'm going to see this person. So like, I must, it must be perfect. And I must do this. I was like, no, like you built a good relationship with this person. This is just like, not yet, not right now. And also there's like a billion people in the world. Like you, right. you get so many tries. Um, at the end of the day, like I didn't ruin the relationship. He just saying not right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's um, I have a lot of thoughts on marketing, you know, where we can get to that as uh, and I think we even go into it, you know, later on in this session. Mm -hmm. uh, but ideas around even taking a leap, putting yourself out there, uh, and you being successful matters on so many levels uh, that. Yeah, it's it's an honor to be here in the space with you and to uh, see you work through this uh, with such generous clienting. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, um, thanks for doing this to this today. And uh, if we could maybe uh, get get the second half next week. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be glad to. I'd, I'd be, I'm, it was an honor to be coached with you and um, to dissect the session. Yeah, I got more thoughts on it too. Nice. But thank you everyone for watching, listening. Like, let us know if you're liking these demos, the coaching to flourish. You know, it feels vulnerable. It's, you know, like, hey, this is our coaching, this is vulnerable clienting. 
Uh, but you have any questions at all, uh, send them our way. I'd love to get to them and we'll have Antoine next week as well. Uh, thank you all. And I'll see you next week.